For a paint color named after an ancient sea snail, this looks pretty good. My paleontology buffs are probably yelling at the screen right now. Ammonite is a paint color by Pharaoh and Ball, which is more specifically named after the fossils that were often found on the Dorset coast in the UK, I think. <laughs> and if you know anything about fossils, they're not super colorful. Neither is this color. But I think Ammonite, like a lot of Pharaoh and Ball colors, has a lovely subtlety to it that feels subdued, calming, relaxing, yet still kind of complex. We're gonna talk about this paint color in detail today, and I'm also going to share with you a full-on color palette consisting entirely of other Pharaoh and Ball colors, which will hopefully inspire you to work some of these colors in your home. But one of the most important things to check in my mind is the color's light reflectance value. And this is a number between zero and 100 that tells us how light the color really looks, which is important. If you have a color that's reflecting 90% of the light that hits it, that's a really bright color. And then if you have one that's like 5%, like these panels over here, pretty dark. Now because Pharaoh and Ball, unlike other paint companies, it doesn't really talk about this information. So I did a bit of digging and I searched through Benjamin Moore's color catalog and found a pretty similar color in pale oak, which has a little over a 68 LRV. Ammonite is just a bit darker to my eyes and also seems to have a touch more of gray and a little bit of a hint of red as well. That red brings some intrigue to this color for me because in very specific circumstances, you can almost see a hint of purple in its undertones, but it's so understated and subtle. It also does a great job at being very much right in the middle temperature wise. Not too hot, not too cold. Nice and lukewarm, I guess. <laughs> Just the way we like it, right? Now we know we're talking about gray, which may not be very exciting to some of you, but this is one of those timeless colors that continues to be used, not because it's the most trendy on the market or the most happening or hip color, but just because it's stable and reliable, especially when you put it next to our first color pairing, Pavilion Gray. And I only have this in here just to give you a slightly deeper color option for the rooms in your home that maybe get way too much light. I almost see two of them working in tandem because Ammonite is light enough that if you have massive windows, just you know, pouring light into your room, it may feel a bit bland and kind of boring. That's exactly where I would slide in Pavilion Gray in those rooms that are overlit, which admittedly isn't a very common occurrence, but it can happen. It just gives you a very similar option that is just a little more rich and substantial. Off-white is the next paint color in this palette, which is an absolute standard when it comes to warm midtones within Pharaoh and Ball's catalog. I love this color for its warmth, but also its bit of nuance in different lighting conditions. It looks fantastic with natural woods or on top of wood, like furniture and cabinets and even trim. Although in this palette, I do see it more as a mid-tone wall color that simultaneously adds warmth, but also can sit in the background politely. The accent color I'm introducing is a bit of a wild card and it's called Paying Black. This is slated as being a red-based black by Pharaoh and Ball, but you're definitely seeing some deep purple here as well, which is what it really does for me. It's a take on purple that reminds me of anything wildberry flavored, you know, like gum or candy or smoothies, where you have blueberries that give you this really rich coloration mixed with all kinds of red berries. It's really great. What's fun about it is the purple really comes out when directly lit, but the more dimly lit situation it's in, it sort of becomes this mysterious off black that will leave you guessing, what color is that actually? It's one of those colors that I always try and find a purpose for because I think it's so unique. And one thing about Ferro and Ball paint colors is they do dark colors extremely well. Let's talk about Sherman baseboard paint color choices, like every episode of Color Quickie. Also hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already, if you're enjoying the content. I have a light and a dark option for you, as usual, because even though the majority of people will usually opt for something lighter on things like your baseboards, variety is the spice of life. So I got a dark one for you too. The light choice is the obvious choice for me. It's all white, which is a color that is exactly what it says it is. Pharaoh and Ball claims that there are no other pigments within this color other than white, which means it's going to look like a brilliant, super bright white color that will cause your woodwork to sparkle. I mean, not literally, there's no glitter in it or anything like that. Unless you wanna add it in, that'd be kind of fun. The dark color for your dark trim, if you wanted to do that, is off black, which is another pretty self-explanatory paint color. But these are both choices that are very 
uncomplicated in terms of color nuance. You have a really bright white and a bit of a charcoal gray, and you can actually use the two in conjunction. For example, you might have white baseboards, but then black doors, or even white trim, and then an off-black built-in unit or something. There's a lot you can do with black and white, which is all part of the plan. <laughs> it's like I worked this out already. <laughs> Here's the palette all together. Let me know what you think. And we got some more Pharaoh Ball content for you, all you Pharaoh Ball lovers out there. I'm one of them, honestly. <laughs>